Traders, I'm about to go long Baba, but the reason I'm making this video is because I want to tell you a little bit about breaks out, breakouts and whole numbers. As you can see, it just moved over the highs here. That was not the right point to take Baba long because there's a whole number very, very close. I'm getting ready to move long at 140, over 140. Now, there's a big issue with whole numbers and we may see that when Baba finally gets to 140, it's two cents away from 140 as you can see right now. Here we go, very close. I don't expect it to go quickly over 140 because I would expect a lot of sellers to be at 140. Here we go, look at the number of sellers at 140. You could have seen them for a second there and then they disappear. They don't want to show you how many they are selling. So they're hiding their numbers, but still is, this is a whole number. The reason is stupid really. The thing is, if you have people who are long Baba investors for I don't know how long, maybe a year, maybe two years, if their broker or their bank would ask them, where would you like to move out? Then they would sit, think and they would come out with a number, let's say, okay, I want to sell if it comes to, hmm, let me see, 140, 145, 150. They will not say I want to sell at 139.97 which they should, by the way, because once it gets to 140, it's a whole number. You don't want to be there if it comes to 140 because it's very likely to bounce from the 140. So right now, as you can see, it bounced. It touched the 140. Look at the number here. It comes again. It bounced now, again, from the 140. So again, you do not want to go long before a whole number, especially when it's like 140 and not, not like 139. And you don't want to go long if you have a breakout just below the 140, even though it says go long in all technical analysis book. You're not supposed to be doing that because you should be waiting for it to move over 140. Again, whole numbers are very, very important in trading. Look at this bounce right now. Now, I have no idea if it's going to go over 140 or it's not going to go over 140. I'm just waiting for it to go over there. If it does, I'm going to go long. Here's the next time. There's another time it's coming to the 140. You don't see the whole quantity because sellers are hiding their position and it bounces again. So I'm still waiting for it to come over 140. Watch the buyers, watch the sellers, watch the pullbacks and make a decision based on whole number. Now, I don't know how this video is going to end, whether I'm going to go long or not. Look at this 20 cent pullback right over here. I don't know. If it's going to go over 140, I'm going to join it. If not, I'm not interested. I will not go long before a whole number. Sometimes when it's very, very clear and you see the number of sellers at 140, you could make a decision to go long just before it clicks a cent over because you don't really know where you're going to get it. By the way, I wouldn't mind going long Baba even 10 or 20 cents above above the, the whole number because the big mover but I need to see it moving over. Well, Baba didn't go through yet, but what I like about Baba is the fact that it moved down like 30 cents, bounced, but refused to go lower, which is great. Look at this point right over here, at this very small bottoming tail. So it still is holding near the 140 mark, and I always like to see my trades that way, failing to move higher, and then hopefully coming back up. That's why I'm adding a little bit more now, just added another 200 shares. So I will go long 600 shares, just because it pulled back, proved, not yet if it's going to move over 140, but probably proved that it may, doesn't really want to move lower. Okay watching the 140. This is taking a long time, but Bob is back to the 140 once more here. Again, watch the buyers and the sellers. If you're watching the chart, by the way, you're doing a big, big mistake. You're supposed to be watching the buyers and sellers right over here. Never look at the chart. Chart's not important. Buyers and sellers. I think the number's coming down. Watch it. I think it may go soon. Now. Got my 600 shares. Nice initial breakout. Twitter, I hate to, dis to disappoint you. This is not a video about me making money. Bob, I don't even know if I'm going to make money on this trade or not. 
it's about the importance of whole numbers. If a stock is close to the whole number, you should be waiting for it to move over. The same for a short. If you want to short a stock, there will be buyers at whole number, then short under the whole number. I hope it was helpful for you, and please remember the whole number issue. Very, very important. Thank you for watching this. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.